a person who needs absolutely no introduction. And it is my honor and um, humbly introduce Robin Roberts. Good morning, America. Quick right out of the chair, out of clothes, right <laughs> into the seat here in the hot seat for 24 hours of nothing but net and our 24 hour live stream. Robin, it means so much to me personally that you would have the time to spend with us on this live stream to help us with Special Olympics. Uh, anything for you, Debbie. And I'm just so incredibly proud of what you and others have been able to do in just a short amount of time. And I'm, I'm more comfortable dressed like this than I was out there on the set for, for GMA. Uh, I, I don't have my, my gym shoes on, but I'll, I'll lace them up with you. But I love how what you're doing, yeah, it's great. Get out in the driveway and you know drain, drain some free throws, but we know it's more than that, right? Oh, there's no question. I mean, the, the free throws is just the platform and the vehicle to tell the story. And the story is uh, really about Frankie and Special Olympics and why sport is important. And people with intellectual and physical disability need a chance to play and a spot to play. And, you know, Special Olympics has been a landing spot for our family and other families like ours. So that's sort of what we're doing here is trying to make a difference in our own communities. And that's what uh, my, my mama used to say, make your mess your message. Yeah. You know, and 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 that's what we all try to do, and 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 just get the word out. And to we're very fortunate to have a platform as we both have, and to be able to use it for for something like that, something that has impacted us. Um, I did that with my going through my my health challenges with cancer and just getting the word out about about certain things. But uh, we we all can do something, and the fact that you will have got yourself together to do this and special olympics you know this debbie you know it's it's very near and dear to to my heart i've been involved for as long as i can remember since the 80s i remember there was a representative i was working in local tv bob short was his name I can still remember him and he had me come out wanted me to cover the event and i really didn't know this was like again the 1980s and I, it was really very very new for that area of the country down south and was just really um, taken by the athletes and the families. And then I was on the board in Connecticut for Special Olympics. And um, just to see how it has grown and to see how people have been impacted. I've gone to the World Games, I've done the Summer Games, I'm gonna be in Orlando coming up uh, later on this summer. And I, I just cannot overemphasize the impact it has had on your family and so many other families. When I think of you, Robin, I, I know everyone knows that you, you sit in the chair every morning and, and you uh, awaken us with such great stories and such news about what's going on around the world. But I think about Southeastern Louisiana University when you were a little girl playing uh, basketball in past oh. Christian and, and then you go on to college and play. So, you know, shooting uh, free throws and making 100 free throws on the top of every hour is not that easy of a challenge. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's something that, you know, I'm training like crazy to get ready. So you can uh, you can relate to that, I'm sure. <laughs> you're up for the challenge. I know that you're up for the challenge. And I love love that you are doing something like that and congratulations fellow hall of famer um very oh. very well deserving and yes yeah, southeastern lineup but i <laughs> i think it is i think it is so creative what you're doing and what you have done uh, in these last few years and again it just gets the the attention but let's just talk about it how, how I'm, i want to put on my reporter's cap here for <laughs> i know you're interviewing me but i want to interview you how do you prepare for something like this, Debbie? Well, um, it's a major effort to get ready because I do receive AARP mail. So it's not like I'm uh, the clock is working against me for sure. But you know what, Robin, I know you can relate. I mean, you love the game, right? And, and uh, yeah. I wanted to use my skills. It's not because I have to, it's because I get to. And we have a unique and special story. Frankie is such a rock star, so he's my motivation. So every day, and I'm in two a days right now. So it's Ooh. squats, blanks. It's uh, I've created this ridiculous free throw burpee routine where you know that bar that you put in the door frame to do pull ups on. Sure. I put yeah. that in the driveway, and so I go free throw burpee, free throw burpee. I do ten oh. sets of twenty five makes. If I miss the free throw, I still do the burpee. So that is. That is really taxing. And, um, you know, down here in Charleston, South Carolina, you know how it is out there in the heat. I mean, so it, it is definitely just like um, 
Anything what was your free throw? Get as players, you yeah. know, reps give you confidence. Confidence to shoot it well. Shooting it well helps the story. And it's about raising money for Special Olympics. So it's a challenge. It's tough. <laughs> what was your uh, free throw percentage in college? Oh, gosh, Robin, you know what I say all the time? I, the only time I ever shot free throws is if the other team got a technical. That was it. And then I was at the line. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm out there shooting jumpers. I'm throwing it inside, relocate on the perimeter. I'm just looking to get my shot off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That, that is priceless. But you know what? We have these stories. And everybody should be able to have a story of being out on the court or being in some kind of sporting event. It, it should not be limited to it shouldn't be limited at all. And that's what I really appreciate about, appreciate about Special Olympics. And I've been covering them, um, like I said, since the 80s. And, and to see pure joy. Yes. I, I, I had the privilege, her, her nickname is Lightning. I'm going to be down in Orlando for, for, the, um, for, the, for the games coming up. Mm -hmm. And I, it was a few months back, uh, Special Olympics, they allowed me um, to announce who, was made, who made it to the, the world, the state games. Um, and this wonderful athlete out of Boston. And when I told her that she was going to Orlando, her emotion got George crying, got Michael Strahan crying, the crew was crying. It was just because it was that pure love of just giving the opportunity to compete. And uh, that's that's something that doesn't leave doesn't leave you doesn't leave me it doesn't leave uh, any any Olympian especially the Special Olympians and so that's what I just get so excited about. But I cannot believe you are doing those burpees and you're getting out. You're taking this seriously. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. is, you know, it's a it's a vehicle, but it's the competitor in you. It's the competitor in you. You want to you want to drain as many of those shots as you can. I know. You know, that is exactly it. The, the first three years, I'm averaging 92%, but I have not had an hour where I've made 100. I've had several hours where I've missed like two or three. Okay. I, yeah, I'm taking it serious. Oh, yeah, it's serious. I'm 92%, Robin. Like, I got a little street cred when I go in the gym now. <laughs> you know, I get I got a little, because I've been the, not, the best non-stat starter in NC State women's basketball history. You know, three years of starting, no stats. Can't get to the free throw line, just shoot it. <laughs> That is hard to do. That in itself. <laughs> I mean, that's that is not an easy feat. But you 29 were able to minutes, pull you know, 29 minutes, two for four, maybe a, a rebound yeah. if it came way out, a uh, couple of assists, definitely a turnover hey, in there. Hey. Uh, but yeah, that's me. Hey, Debbie, how'd you come up with this idea? You know what, Robin, you, you know, um, as a promoter of the game and, and your great love and passion for the game is, is unequal. Um, and, you know, I feel the same way. Um, I have always talked about on the air, I shoot till your arm falls off. I think offense is the most important part of our game. I know defense plays a role, but I'm selling offense. I'm selling it hard on the women's side. And because of that, I started a challenge, um, years ago. Now it's almost been 10 years where, uh, I was going to make 115 footers every day in the month of July in the hundred degree heat on the blacktop without a shooting coach, nutritionist, without a, a masseuse, without a, a gym where I could go um, inside, plug in my iPad, play some music, you know, have the dish rebound to me, all that. I was just kind of like making light of the fact that the way you and I grew up and the way we played was we were in the driveway. We yep. maybe didn't even have anybody to rebound for us. I mean, I chased the ball. I had to chase the ball. So um, I decided that I was going to do that and um, challenge other schools to do the same thing. And then, I mean, I'm, if you don't mind, if I, if I just, please, I decided to, I wonder how fast I can make a hundred shots uh, sliding along the free throw line with one ball, one rebounder. And so I made a hundred out of 104 in five minutes and 32 seconds. And I thought, well, that's not embarrassing. That's Whoa. actually solid. I was about 48 when I did that. Uh, and so I was like, mm. Let me put that out there and see if anybody can beat me. I created a little medal. And if a player somewhere around the country beat me, beat my time, I sent them this medal. And uh, I, it was kind of like Antonelli's 100 shot challenge. And that's what I called it. And I was just trying to sell offense and give people a challenge to try something. And I have to be honest, there weren't a lot of players that could beat my time. I see there. That's right. You know, and you're then, making me go ahead.
ahead, go ahead, continue, yeah. please. And, and then I'm sorry, but then that's what propelled me after six years of doing that. I was like, I got to change it up. How can I monetize this? And, and, and what could I do? And obviously Special Olympics is a really important part of the way we live, how we've raised Frankie, his ability to compete and train, his ability to, to organize with his friends. And I thought, you know what, this is a really great landing spot combined with him going to Clemson Life and creating some more awareness about post-secondary educational experiences for students with intellectual disability. And Clemson University is, is a leader in that. And it just kind of all rolled together. And I was like, now, I, can I do it? Can, and will people give money? And then will they watch the live stream? And honestly, we're finding out that, you know what? It, I mean, we just keep getting better. And every hour, the amount of money goes up. And that motivates me to keep staying sharp and focused. And I mean, you know, uh, you got to put the reps in to be able to do it. I'm not just walking out there and shooting. I mean, I am training all year round now to, wow. to be able to do this, to do it at a high level. Well, God bless you. I, I could not imagine uh, all that. But you made me think of what uh, our dear friend, Pat Summit. What, 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 what oh. would she say? She said, offense sells tickets, champ, uh, defense wins yeah. championships. But often sells tickets, and I agree with you. I mean, we talk, we talk all about D, yeah. ha 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 ha, but people want to see it go through the net. They Absolutely, want to see it, and 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 that's what you are are all about. And and you know, huh, Clemson life, Frankie, the way you share his story, really, you all are really helping some folks, because I know it has been a journey for you and your entire family, and I can only imagine the things you must have been told early on. <laughs> about how far he was going to be able to go in life. Well, he became a college man, you know, and what what uh, what most families dream of for their for any of their ch children to do that, and for for Frankie to to be there to do that, and for you to be so vulnerable, and transparent, and sharing. You have no idea the impact. Yeah, we, you know, I'm gonna tune in. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll follow the stream because I want to see. I want to. I want to see you drain <laughs> some, but I want to see those numbers, not the numbers that are going through the. I want to see the numbers of dollars yes. that this is going to uh, add to of what you've already been able to raise over the recent years, and uh, that's that's the figure. I want to see, but I want to. I want to see if you got a little game. I mean, come on, you're a recent Hall of Famer. I can. Oh I would, yeah, you know, a little bit. You know, you got to. You got to represent, Debbie. Come on. You know, uh, I felt yeah. the same way as you did on your acceptance speech when you went into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. I mean, I'm going in as a contributor. Come on, Robin. You you should have gone in as a player, right? A player. Oh, <laughs> uh, but you and you have been quite uh, in, in many aspects, but you have really made that that ceremony. You really oh, have. I mean, uh, for all those years that you have done that, and you know, and this is what was so, what is so inclusive about our game that we all can sh we can all contribute in some kind of way. We can't all be the the Candace Parkers of the world out there on the court, but we all can have the same passion and find a way to contribute. And but in our heads, and I, I thought so too, going in as a contributor, I was like, oh, I want to I want to <laughs> go in as a yeah, that's the competitor in me. But I was very, very honored, very honored to to uh, to be in the hall with you and and so many of our, our colleagues. And it's and I was just so sad. Uh, Lucy Harris, I'm so glad I got a chance to see her when yes. she went into the hall and um, and, and to lose her. But first, she can her family can say she's an Oscar winner. To, to, for her film to to win an Oscar. So again, it just shows you the impact of sports. It just right. tells you how it can just really have such an, an enormous impact in so many ways in our lives. And I really love with Special Olympics, since this is something I did, um, it got going when I was in Connecticut on the board, um, un, uh, Unified Games. Unified Sports I, is awesome. Yeah, I love that. I love because it's really, it, it helps the public understand um and i love how these athlete, athletes are athletes when they get out there and it just is a way to to learn about you know frankie right. and and so to, to be a teammate along with him in, the, in a unified a unified sport i thought that was it's a brilliant idea by special olympics and uh, and and to do that and i think it really help people have a better understanding of what it's what it's like 
I just I just love that. I'm just so glad they did that. Well, you're right about things early on about he can't, he won't, he doesn't. Um, I heard that for many, many years. But, you know, the the leadership that comes behind Team Antonelli is more about advocacy for people and families like ours. I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. the greatest challenge, right? Uh, I As an athlete, we don't take no for an answer. We go out there and we work harder. We figure out a way. And all the years that uh, I have been around the game, I've learned from such great leaders and people that have inspired me, incredible communicators that have helped me be able to take what I've listened to or learned in the gym and apply that to an IEP process or a therapist or a teacher or our team that we put together to make sure that Frankie had a chance to be the best he could be. And you mentioned Pat, and of course, Pat serves as incredible inspiration daily. Uh, my coach, Kay Yao, I know she yeah. was a friend of yours wow. as well. Kay, Kay is uh, with me every day. And mm -hmm. then you too, Robin. I mean, you know, I can't help but, you know, re oh. remember that everyone has something. And I'm excited about your new book that's coming out also, uh, Brighter by the Day, because I'm one of your um, your fans and your fam that is God. out there listening yeah, to my that message. Yeah. So great. Well, I, I appreciate that very much, Debbie. I didn't mean to cut you off like that. Uh, I, I love that you're part of the tribe, and I and I and um, we on social media we go back and forth a little bit with messages to one another. It's how we can stay in touch. And it really, when you reached out, and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't realize that you were listening to the message like so many other people. And it really, it just it sparked my book, Brighter by the Day, that uh, just was recently released and it was just my way of just saying that's left foot right foot breathe keep moving keep believing that it's going to be brighter that this too shall pass and i think that's something that is universal and my mama taught me that um what your son has gone through um not it not has gone through the, the life that he has and my cancer uh, someone got a divorce or someone got uh um unemployment that's not that's, that's there's no tragedy there it's if you don't take the time to why was this place in my path okay what why was this what's the message here what's the message i'm i'm supposed to learn and more importantly share with others and that's just how i approach it and you're you're right about as an athlete when no no, you know what NO means? New opportunities. NO means, okay, it didn't work out. You're, you're telling me no? Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to find a new opportunity at NO to find a way to make it work. And I'm just so grateful. I'm, you and I, we're proud products of Title IX, you know, exactly. selling 50 years uh, this year. Um, but to be able to have that, and, and that's what Special Olympics is about too. Just as women, we wanted the same opportunity to be able to compete and to have the all the things that we learn through playing sports it's the same thing for special olympians it's the same exact thing and and your son and others and sons and daughters of special olympians they have learned such skills that we were afforded and how it has helped us long after we stopped playing but you haven't stopped playing i mean the fact <laughs> that you are still doing my I, I tip if i had a hat i'd be tipping that hat to you right now because i don't i know i just i just feel my arm will be falling off uh if i if i attempted to do what you're doing debbie well team robin i love that it, and i'm on team antonelli yeah all right great you you know what um i'm so glad you brought up title nine and and i just want to leave you with that um your just your comments about you know sport and the value of sport in our society and you know we've spent our careers in sport we've played sport all we know is sport that's what we've done and it's helped us you know lead from our teams and um i think whatever not just a sport team but your family team and 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 everything that that you have done robin you you're such an incredible ambassador for many things and and having you on the live stream with us for 24 hours of nothing but net. I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am for your time. Well, all you have to do is reach out, Debbie Antonelli. I am immensely proud of you. I have been cheering from the sidelines many, many times that you didn't even realize. Uh, we're we're very we're we're very similar. You know, um, we just we have a good family. Uh, we love what we do. Uh, we appreciate that people want to recognize it. Um, you have this great combination of, of, of humility and honor. And I, I know that 
you know, Kay Yao, I see a lot of her in you. And I know that she is cheering you on from her heavenly balcony as others are, and I'm just so grateful. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's not just nothing but net, nothing but the bottom of the net. I wanna see nothing but the bottom of the net. I wanna see that ball go through again and again and again and again. Well, bless you, my friend. Call on me anytime, but not to shoot free throws. Thank you, Robin Roberts, you are amazing. And you continue to serve as inspiration. And I will be thinking about you. I'm gonna dedicate my 4 a.m. hour to Robin Roberts, oh. four o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be out there and I'm going to be thinking about you. Because uh, I'll be up. Okay. <laughs> yes, you will. I know you will. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, Robin. You